sadly, this is the first show after we lost Louis Spicoli. Mm-hmm. What was the the vibe when Louis died so young in WCW? Uh, I'm I'm trying to rack my brain about it. I think we were all shocked mm. that that Louis died, but I think we all realized that he was headed that way because he was drugged out a lot. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've told you the story where I saw after a show, like seven o'clock in the morning, somebody knocked on my door and it was the security and the security says, do you know this gentleman? And it was Louie who was literally in the hallway trying to climb the wall oh. out of his freaking mind. And I said, yeah, I, I, I said, do you want him to come in my room? He said, well, he obviously has caused a disruption here in this hotel. And Terry Taylor, uh, I don't know if he can't remember if he came out of his room or came up the elevator. And he said, Louie, come with me. And we had trouble getting Louie even to move. I mean, he was like completely out of his mind. And we opened the door somewhere and threw him into bed beside of someone. And it wasn't the first time that Louie had been drugged out of his mind. So we knew that he was, Oh man, that he had been drugged or he, he had been taking drugs and it was, yeah. so I don't think anybody was, I think we were surprised maybe that he passed away, but I think we all knew that he needed help and we didn't know how far it would go. And obviously there you go. Louis was a pretty talented kid in the ring. I mean, it's, it's been well established that he did some uh, commentary with us uh, that didn't work out. Mm. But also, uh, yeah, his hero was Chris Farley. He was almost like our Chris Farley in a way. And uh, he went kind of the same way Chris Farley did. So, man, tragedy, tragedy. Yeah. So freaking young. Somebody passed away in their 20s. Mm. 